Uh, Ginger. Ginger. Hey, hi. we're live. Oh, hi, you guys. <laughs> I hope everybody had a wonderful 4th of July. And I thought it might be fun to paint one of the celebrations from the 4th of July. We're going to do something we rarely ever do on this channel. We're going to be doing a 12 by... 24. 24 inch canvas. And I don't know how long it's going to take. It takes whatever it takes, you guys. But it's going to be done in impressionistic style. But I saw this... Um, photo of San Diego from uh, yesterday and I was so inspired I thought this could be done in an impressionistic style of acrylic painting and it would be lots of fun. Um, so we're going to try it. We're going to show it to you in a second So and stay tuned. Ginger Cook, the queen of color, with a blazing brush at the speed of light, and a blank canvas, and a hearty yes and yes. The queen of color, Ginger Cook, and her sidekick, John Little, teach you to paint with acrylics. Ginger, looks like you are busy as a beaver. What is that a picture of? This is a picture, John, of the uh, beach in San Diego. We just uh, kind of took a quick snapshot off the television and thought we'd turn it into an impressionistic painting. What do you guys think? Isn't this fun? I think it's and a great I idea. Just, I thought what was so cool about it, you guys, was that I just I saw us today and I thought, you know what, normally we don't do this on YouTube, but I thought, this is so cool. So now, if for instance, if somebody wanted to also paint this, Okay, um, we will have the, um, the, the picture up on our be, uh, beginner acrylic website where both academy uh, members, all our academy members have access to it. We will definitely do that. I just... Um, and that's, a, um, that's traceable we did. We made that. That takes six sheets of paper. It's a 24 by 12. So right now we're just... She's just getting her layout. I'm we just, have Sorrel we paper. Have, this is going to take a while to trace this in. So, so obviously we're not going to give away this painting. But I have some exciting news. We're going to be having an auction coming up in a couple weeks, and this painting will be in the auction for sure. We'll put this in the auction, and um, also we're going to show you some other pieces that are going to be in the auction t tonight. Uh, or, you know, when we have the auction, you know, we'll show you tonight some of the other pieces. I hope to get okay. the auction up. Well, we're shooting for the weekend. We're shooting for the weekend. Get it kicked off and run it for a couple of weeks. Yeah, but, and really, I'm not doing a lot of, I just want to make sure I have the, um, um, the general gist of this. We have a few little houses up here we're going to just kind of suggest, but here's the top of our cliffs. And I don't know, I may even put a sky up here for some of this and a couple palm trees. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know if I'm going to put houses all the way back up to the top. I'm thinking about that, John, and, and um, maybe there's some cute palm trees. Um, well, we'll see. Well, just I don't know what I'm going to put up there. Yeah, you um, might go a little bit more landscape instead of so much. Yeah, not not so much. It's, it's, it's overgrown, you know. And, uh, you know, like I don't want this big sign and all that stuff, right? So, but anyway, this was what I found, and I think that, the, as you'll notice, well, I'm, I'm using Sorel transfer paper, and, um, to, and it comes in a roll, too, and we're using that to do this. It comes in a 12-inch wide roll, which is very handy for these. So we just uh, kind of glued some, to, well, no, you just used the whole one big sheet, right? Yeah, one sheet. One and, sheet, uh, four inches long. Yeah. Because we, we use this size canvas quite often. So, um... Like I say, I'm just going ahead and um, uh, hitting over the key points. Hitting over the key points of the, because and, and something when you're doing impressionistic, you really don't show much of the people. You see what I mean? You just don't show much of the people at all. And what we're just we're just going to do some sort of fun little impressionistic of the holiday. A lot of people were um, out and about um, in San Diego over the weekend and uh, noticed that um, 
um, I'm putting when I do the the umbrellas I write the colors that they were all right like I'm gonna just put a little R for red you know when I'm putting in the umbrellas and I'm just gonna take a little time to just draw this in and it, you know so no no worries there we've got um, uh, I love the fact that there was a flag here now if you don't happen to be living in the states and um, change, what you change want the flag accordingly. paint the flag of your country where this one is okay uh, that's what I would tell you to do and um, and that may you can because pretty much the world over people are going to the beach have you noticed this oh yeah um, they really don't care much about um, uh, anything except getting out and um, having fun and look, we're not criticizing, we're making an observation. And listen, we're just doing it with them, right? We're, we're, we're going to go to the beach too, right? We are. In, in our painting. Oh, good. Right? We're going to go to the beach there. in our painting, yeah. Are they wearing masks? No. no There's not a mask to be nobody's, found. Nobody's wearing masks, dear friends. <laughs> That's so, like, silly. The, the people up, up front, like if the person's big enough, I'll put them in a little bit, right? A little more detail. A little more detail, but mostly you're not going to put any, you're, you're really not going to put the people in. And we're going to show just a gonna, Just sort of like stick figures are what's going to go in there, kind of impressionistic painting. And I'm going to show you how I came to this. Uh, uh, I'm going to show you how we came to putting somebody... Um, and uh, in, in, in how I decided to how to put the people in so I'm sure what this was here's another umbrella interesting yes people came well prepared to stay out they of the did. sun go to the beach to stay out of the sun they did they came we well don't know prepared. exactly which one this was just a newscast on CNN yeah, we just it saw just it. It just says San Diego Beach. We don't know which We beach. don't live there. You pick it. What's it look like to you? <laughs> we don't know. We just thought we would do it. I mean, the... the just the, the, the shot they had, it has a nice flow to it. It's just, it just hit us. Yeah, I liked it. We didn't have to back it up to shoot it again. Yeah, I thought it was a real pretty... And again, we're not trying to 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 do much of anything, except um, you know, just suggest that there's some people here at the beach. Now, here's our water. What I really liked was all the water, and um, the fact that. Uh, um, There was all this out. activity, yes, yes and yes, all this activity. So as I come back over here, you can see it. So we're going to have a giveaway today. Also, somebody is going to win the um, a the, a a set of the Salvador paints. Oh, somebody has to make a, a, a thingy. And uh, there's we're definitely going to have that. Yes and yes. Yes and yes. And um, so again, I'm going to try to simplify this as much as I can. Um, put these different umbrellas in. Again, I'm putting in the. I wonder if those aren't considered more of a tent. Well, they're tents. They're tents. Um, they're, they're, they're definitely tents and tent, you know, people are going to the beach. They definitely want a tent for sure. Put these different umbrellas in. Is there some, some reason why that's going on here? Um, my finger hit the wrong button. Off with my hands, I know, Queen. No, I just asked. I just <laughs> was wondering why. 
we're just again I'm just going to be painting in little bits of color here There's quite a bit. This was a big undertaking. But I was so inspired by this picture. I thought, you know what, let's have some fun. We, we, we go till we're done, right? Let's make our audience just suffer. Suffer along with us. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. We're just, there you go, you know. I just want to make sure I have enough uh, detail in it. To, uh, but it is, I think it's, I just love the fact that there's all these colors. And, uh, again, I don't know what all the stuff is here, but I don't care. We're just well, putting it, looks it like in. like coolers and Coolers and just, chairs. there's just going to be bits. some umbrellas in there, This too. is going to have some, uh, it's just going to have an abstract quality to some of it. Um, did I ever tell you about that lady I saw one time, and she came to the beach, and she was a little bit overweight, and she dug a hole in the sand a little bit like a trough, put her towel in it. When she laid down, she took off 10 pounds. Well, there you go. It just, you learn everything from me, don't you? I mean, how would you know to do that if, it, if I hadn't told you? you? Want to get thin? You want to go to the beach and diet? Just Okay, here's something back over here. Holly has a question. Sure. I was told when you buy canvases and they have plastic wrap on them, don't store them with it on. It can warp the the framework. Is that true? I don't know, Holly. I've never heard that. We use our canvases too quickly to give them a chance to warp. Um, I don't know. Um, I would think if you're in a, in a high humidity and it gets in there, it's a possibility. But if it's sealed well, I don't. I don't know. Good question on that one. I'd probably Google that one. Yeah, it beats me, Holly. No idea. All right, let's just take a quick peek and see if I have enough information, shall we? I think I'm going okay. whatever I have, we're going to have to live with, right? And we'll go from there. Well, I certainly hope you have enough, then. Well, me too, because some of this is really out of focus. It's so blurry. Well, yeah, it, it was a grab shot. Yeah, see? So what do I have in here? Anything in here that um, I think I want to put her in? She doesn't look like she has any clothes on, but... That looks like well, a bare butt there. Yeah, well, just ignore that. Okay. We're not going there. When in doubt, put an umbrella. <laughs> put a suit on that girl. When in doubt, paint, some, paint it out. Right? Yes and yes? All right, let's see how we did here. Francis will be going to Ohio in one week from now. Wow, wow Francis. He's leaving Ecuador. Okay, I think that's... that's we're going to have to ad-lib the rest, all right? We can do yes. that. Here, maybe we'll put this one back here. Cause that's a pretty big one. You're making it almost like a paint by number with all those letters and colors and. I know. Well, I'm just yeah. I know, it's just <laughs> almost like that, right? It's almost like that. How did the top part of this work here with our cliffs? All right, you guys. Cliff looks good. That's what we're doing. We're going for all it. All right, we're going for it. You can see this is how it all was pieced all together. together. Do you see that? Use that program that's on the internet. The Tech Bear has a video on that. Now I want to show you this. This is how. Uh, do you see this artist right here who did this is people have been crowding their little selves at the beach forever, right? This is one of our old dead guys and um, Boating and I want you to see how this is painted. You don't paint the face. You just suggest faces. You don't do eyes You don't do any of that, right? So look how much, how much clothes they have on. Yeah, well they, they, they Yeah, things have changed, right? <laughs> There's no naked butts in this picture. Though they do have pictures of themselves at the beach with nothing on, but that was a different group, right? Yeah. Not not the high-class group that's showing up here. Yes and yes? And they only have baby umbrellas. 
Yeah, they just had some small umbrellas, but they yeah, understood they were, that. This was 1800 something. Yeah, 1800s, yeah. We, we but, I mean, people were, um, people were still going to the beach. Yep. Oops, I just tore that. It didn't mean to. Oh, I can't believe you did that. You know, I'm stressing now. I know. So I'm going to just put that over here like that. All that's going to get out of the way. So this is what we've got, you guys. <laughs> okay, honestly, it looks like a hot mess. It does. And I'm going to use the Salvador paints because they're sort of a... Um, uh, a fun paint. They're a fun paint. And, Great um, colors. Pretty colors, and I'm going to use go. all the colors. And and how'd you do that background, Missy? Uh, the background is just um, uh, black and white and a little ultramarine blue, or phthalo blue. And we used our gesso black. Yeah. So it's pretty black black. It's not a, not a paint gray black. Pretty neutral yeah. black. Yeah. So I just wanted a gray, a dark gray background. And so you got it. that's just kind of the thing. I mean, I don't know why. I just was so in the mood for this. And just, you know, we may, I, I apologize if we're here all night, but <laughs> I just don't know. I don't I, think you will be. I think you're going to surprise yourself. Why don't you get going on this? I just wanted this picture. I can't explain it, but I just saw that, and I thought, you know, um, I want, when, I want it now. When Cinnamon and I, when Cinnamon was a child, we, her husband, uh, my husband and I at the time, Colby, her dad and I, we lived in San Diego, and we went to the beach, right? So you probably went to this beach. Um, I'm not sure if we went to this beach, but oh. we went to a beach. And here's the thing that they had: there was automatic social distancing. If you sit at the beach here, okay. Let me just, can you see my palette, my paint palette? Imagine this is the water, this line of colors right here, right? Yeah. And I'm here, this is the beach, and I sit here. Yeah. Um, I'm the only person on the beach. You never come sit next to me. You have to move at least two people away. And then the next person would do this. And again, <laughs> nobody would do this. They would do this or this. But no, this is uh, how one presents themselves. You only you only crowd when there's no other option because it's not considered polite. I well, mean, I've got my beach etiquette now. Well, yeah, it's there is beach etiquette. I mean, ask ask the audience. You know what I speak? Yes and yes. There's beach etiquette. I was never sure. a beach person. And um, yeah, well, I understand, but there's beach etiquette. You, the, people should know these things. For and those just joining us, this is a 12 by 24 canvas. Stretch canvas with a center bar. Which is totally insane. <laughs> but just, and no, we are not giving it away, but this will show up in the auction. Which yeah. we hope to have started by the weekend. We're, we're shooting for it. Or yeah. we're going to shoot ourselves in the foot. Yeah, that's right. So I get the yes staff yes. working. Yeah, so um, we're just getting it out to different colors of blue. We're just going to paint this in. I think it's going to be fun. But let's have fun with this, you guys, right? People have always said, how do the Salvador paints do on a large canvas? This is the biggest one I've ever done with these. Yeah, we've never done one this size. But this painting had all these colors, and I thought it might be fun to have all these colors in our picture. Yes and yes? You have all the people with their different clothes on. They can be dressed differently. You can have fun with this. Yeah, we can have, let's just have fun with it and see just how it goes. And again, I think this would be, it's a, it, I think this, I, if it comes out as well as I hope it does, if it doesn't, then we'll just take the video down. I don't want to, we'll go whoops, right? Yeah. I hope it does. And um, if it comes out as well as I'm hoping. Hopefully it'll do better than the tractor did. But thanks for doing the tractor. I appreciate that. Yeah. So we're going to have another pick, uh, John's pick on Thursday, unless we're still painting this one. I don't think we're still painting this one. We'll see. I think we're going to be okay, right? You think? I'm putting out the colors here. Um, oh, I just want all the colors out. This is my Holbein stuff. I want all the, the not, not the Holbein, but the Salvador paints. I want all my colors out. Yes and yes. Yes and yes. And uh, what is this? Um, that might be black. That's ultramarine blue. Oh. oh. I think that's purple. The ultramarine blue and the purple are, 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 are a little different, are kind of mixed up, but it's okay. This is the ultramarine blue. There, they, the labels are mixed up on yeah, that. Speaking of Salvador, while she's doing this for a moment, they gave us a little present. I got a picture of. Yeah, it. tell. But before you show them the picture, tell oh. them the genesis of what happened with it, right? Oh, you tell them the genesis of what happened. Okay, so you guys, this was so funny because um, uh, we got this. Uh, no, I got this notice on my messages from our PO box, but you know, you on her phone. On my phone. Which she never looks at. 
and it said uh, we're going to be closing on Friday in the next 10 minutes, but somebody left you a beautiful bouquet of flowers. will be closed over the weekend. You ought to come get it. Well, we couldn't get there in 10 minutes anyway, but I didn't see that for about an hour later. But there you go. But well, we appreciate very much the flowers. Look at that. I well, can't John's, look at that until I move them over. John went over this morning and got them. There they are. Look at that. Man, gorgeous. And it's a little, um, what is it, a cut glass vase on that? Yeah. It's on, uh, yeah, well, no, it's not cut glass. Those are little tiny, uh, uh, like mosaic tiles that are ah. glued on there. Those are mosaic little tiles. Uh, wonderful, right? So we'd like to thank the Salvador team for thinking of us on the oh, holiday well, season. Just wonderful. Loved it, right? It was a nice little surprise. It was. All right. So, uh, okay, so I'm putting all these back in here now um, in the box. I just needed to get them all out. You could appreciate that, right? Put them all back in here like so. And um, sort of, here we go. And... Um, just throw them up there. I'll come over and scoop up. Well, well what, I may need, I may them, need them again, see, yeah. so yeah. I've got to be slightly careful because I may, may need them again. So I'm sort of trying to put them in some sort of reasonable order. Um, all right, so I'll just, I'll just move these. I really know where to put them. I'll just move these out of the way here. All right, so um, we got the greens, right? This green? Yeah, we have it. Okay, so I'm going to, uh, as we're painting on this, um, you know what I'm, there we go. You say what I'm missing is something, but we need, we need white, so I'm going to put out, <coughs> I'm going to put out the golden fluid white, because there's a lot of detail in this. That's a good choice. That's why I get a big one. I get a big one of those. When I get yeah, the golden see, fluid, see, you get a big this one. This is the gold titanium white. And it has the same opacity, but it's a little more easy. It's a little more fluid. That's and, why it's called um, fluid. <coughs> now, I'm going to just go ahead and I, one of the things I want to do is I'm going to paint some of these umbrellas in that I can see them. Like these three are white. And um, see, I put a white here. And I want you to see how easily that the flow paint will do that for me. So I'll put this umbrella in here like that. I, I, I just don't want to lose my place. You can appreciate that, right? Oh, absolutely. So I, I need some landmarks. Now, you remember what colors those are? Yeah, they're white. Oh. That's why I put the big W on them. That one's white. Oh, I didn't know this if you one, were doing this some This one's other. white. No, no, this one's white. And... Um, like so, that one's a white one, and this is a white one over here. David says, John, my mother painted a portrait of my little brother on a tractor 50 years ago. I will post it Friday on the friends and family. Cool. I'd like to see that one. What just fell down? Well, my queen, I would have to get up and investigate. Well, if this is not important, you're still, well, still on the air. It can't be too important, right? As far as I know, but I, it may be something you're going to be asking for, and I have a moment to get it. All right, so, so I'm going to put a little of these white ones back here, these little ones back here. Oh, you put the tape up on the rack. Right, okay. Okay. <laughs> yes and yes. Right, so I'm going to put a few of my little umbrellas back here. Get that out of the way too. Yeah. There so um, that's a good one, right? It's a great start. And there's a um, this one back here is white. It's just kind of fun. I mean, it, it really at this point is almost um, it's very impressionistic. So you guys just hang in there with me. We'll answer questions. We'll have a good time tonight. Night. Yes and yes. We always have a good time, my queen. Yeah, for sure. Um, there's this flag, there's this flag, this person, this is, um, a white one right here. That's a good question. Who is painting along with Ginger tonight, you brave souls, you? Well, I mean, this would be hard to, to be almost impossible to paint along with me. We don't, in fact, we don't recommend that on, you know, most days anyway, but, um, you know, this would be a little bit more challenging, I feel, to paint along with me. 
Because basically she's designing it as she goes. Yeah, we're doing a big paint design here as we go. Hmm. So speaking, again, of, uh, speaking of paint design, we are working on our paint design classes, our lessons for that new offering we're going to have for the Academy. And I'm going to be sending out an email to the Wave and Water people because they're going to be our beta testers and testing our whole new concepts and everything. So if you're a Wave & Water member, look for that in the coming days, like tonight or tomorrow. Here's our two flags. I'm going to want you to enroll so I know who I'm going to be working with. Another little flag right here. Okay. You can see where we've got it. And then over here, this was a pretty nice bright yellow one right here. So I'll take some yellow and white. This one right here was, I like this. This was a very bright yellow. We'll put that one in. You put that yellow right over the gray? I did. And then I've got another little one right here. That's covering pretty darn the well. The Salvador paint co covers pretty well. And there's a yeah. little bit kind of an orange thing here. So, yeah, no, they have a, that was a, it probably could, but it'll probably take an, another coat, but here you go. Here's some bright yellow right there, right? I like that. And, uh, hey, let's give you a puzzle update. Puzzle is coming along nicely. I am down to, I think, one, two, three, four, five pieces. I sent out an email to five people to see if they want to play. I have not heard back from four of them yet. I did have somebody else contact me and wanted to play, so I'm going to see if I can enlist her. So, almost have that one done, and the new method is working where I'm sending out an email saying, do you want to play before I send out the pieces? And you got 48 hours to respond. Okay, here's our purple. Oh, I love the purple one. Here's our purple one. And it actually has, I'm just, you know what I mean? This is just sort of, I just don't want to get too confused, so I'm just putting in stuff as we go, right? Well, I think it's a good way to do it. What you're doing, I think that's, that's a smart way to do it, so you don't lose your colors. Well, yeah, because what made this so ch so cute was all the colors. And, um... So, like, there was a little... Uh, behind this flag, there was another little... A lighter tent, purple? A little bit of the tent, and then there was a little red one behind here. Please tell Ginger I'm enjoying watching her work her magic. That's from our buddy in Canada. Well, thanks. Miss Jenny. Well, I think sometimes you wonder, how do you start off a painting? I mean, I don't know. I've never painted anything like this, you know what I mean? This is new to me, too. So it's sort of fun, right? New to me, and absolutely new to me. No, we did some good ones over the weekend. Some new lessons coming up. She'll show you a little bit later. Yeah. Hmm? A white one. There's a little red one back here. And um, here's the white and the white. And then there's a, there's a red one back here. Okay. So now you're sort of seeing, you know, the kind of where we're going with this, right? And um, there's a white one here and a kind of a faded red one here, but we'll just make it red. Okay. Just trying to think of any major color differences that I want to put in. I like some of these red ones, and I'm just kind of... There was right here, there was another really wonderful red one. And... Uh, I suppose, well, is there less than wonderful? You know, maybe, are all the red ones wonderful, or is just this one? No, I think that's, that's the one. That's, that's the that's wonderful, that's the wonderful one. one, yeah. See, I mean, you know, when you say that kind of stuff, you know, you have to, then then people question your your sanity, as opposed to an unwonderful <laughs> one, what? Um, yeah, that's what they question, John, your sanity. Miriam's asking a question, which is kind of appropriate for this evening's show. Mm-hmm. If we snap a picture off the news and paint it, is it is there any copyright issues? Probably. More than likely. 
I think I've we'll changed you know. quite a bit, you know, but, you know, probably. Not likely to come up, but probably. I, you know, I think you could do anything for your own use. I don't know that I'd make prints of it. But who's to say you weren't up on the hill doing this, right? Yeah. That's the trick. Maybe you were up on the hill painting this. There we go, and this is a light blue one right here. So there's a little bit of yellow in that, which is pretty, isn't it? We're not going to have any, any, any no audience participation for Thursday's suggestion this time. We're thinking of how we want to do that for a possible future one, but not the next one. Yes. All right, so this is ultramarine blue up but here. But we haven't forgotten you guys, don't worry. All right, so here's an ultramarine blue one. Ooh, I like that one. Yeah, there you go. There's our ultramarine blue one. And, uh... I'd like to see the people are practicing their social distancing well. Yeah, aren't you impressed with that? <laughs> I, I was. <laughs> oh, I can't imagine what the next two or three weeks are going to look like. Wow, yeah, we, I know. You know, we could all be lucky. Everybody was clean and healthy and nothing to worry about. That's what I say. I smashed my little finger. How did I do that? I don't know. That I hurts. give up. How did you do it? I sliced my nail with something. Uh -oh. Down far. That hurts. Okay. And, uh... All right, so we got another, yeah, this sort of, I don't know, I've just, for me, if I'm painting in these umbrellas like this, right, it's helpful in that, um, that I, again, I can kind of see where everything goes, right? Where's my bridge? Do you remember where my bridge is, John? That bridge that we bought? London Bridge? I do indeed. Yeah, I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to tell you about a bridge, too, and it's not to the River Kwai. Oh, wait a minute, somebody did move it. That silly bear. And uh, just so you know, there's a. we definitely have a bridge. But here's another blue one above here there like that. Let's just try that blue. The nice thing about the Salvador paints is they have all these blues. You don't have to even get too clever with it. They've got a lot of these blue colors. Yeah, this is called a bridge right here. And what's nice is you can rest your arm on it when you're painting. And you don't have to... Um, Get worry about getting your hand in the paint. Um, she speaks from experience. Yeah, no, they're they're really nice. Um, they're, they're terrific. Okay, so this is blue. Let's do another purple one back. Ooh, here. Elizabeth has a good question, John. Will there be a July challenge picture? Of course there will. I have it picked out. It will probably go up to night or tomorrow night, but it will be showing up very shortly. I've debated between two. It's not going to be a tough one this time. I can give you something a little more practical, what you folks are used to. But i got to admit, though, the train, you guys did marvelous with the trains. Some of them are just stunning. Are they? They were. I thought so. I loved the trains. I yeah. thought that the trains were, were, were all... You guys, you know, those that participated in that really you went out of your comfort zone, but you really did a marvelous job. It's fun to see. Here's a little... Green umbrella over here. That's how you learn. That's how you expand. Is this bridge in the Amazon store? It's not in our Amazon store as of yet. It was supposed to be, but time Life gets happens. away from me. Why is that, boss? I don't know. Life happens to us, you know. We have I all these great intentions. Yeah. They could do a whole movie on our best intentions. <laughs> yes and yes. Yes and yes. So I like that you, color. Yeah, that's a little of this this kind of turquoise blue and a little yellow. I like that. Which is, and this is the ultramarine blue over here on this little tent right here. We have the beaches open in Connecticut, but they count the people coming in. Do, do they? they just keep counting them, or do they stop after a certain amount? I don't know. That's an interesting thought, isn't it? John, is Thursday painting going to be another vehicle? No, we're not going to do that to you. 
We don't know what he's going to paint. Let's not be surprised. The whole idea behind some of this stuff is to surprise you guys, not just me. All right? I think I want that green. I want to show you. But you never know up. what I'll pick. Could be another train. There you go. Let's do a green one on here. Where are you going? Are oh, you going way over? There. Okay. Well, I just had to do that. All right. Yeah, you had to color. So I, we, we've got. You see, we, we're getting there, right? And uh, you know, we're starting to, you know, put in the colors and uh, put in our little tent. There's a lot of blue. Seems to be the color this year for tents. If anybody was wanting to know what the, in umbrellas, blue was the predominant color in this picture. This has been my observation. It's definitely been blue. And I'm not sure why. Maybe the, there was a run on blue tents. Maybe that was the only ink anybody had to make tents out of. Seems like we've got a lot of blue ones. I think I want something else here than a blue one. What should we put? I mean, let's do another red tent. I think for sure. Let's do a red tent here because we had a lot of blue ones. Too I many think. blue. Too many blue. we gotta, we got to break it up. There, we're just gonna, we're going to reassess, and then we're gonna take a little. Reevaluate even. Yeah, that that too. Yeah, let's do a little light pink, and then behind it, there was a little tent. There's a little one right here. That was uh, all these different colors. All right, so we just put in somebody there, right? All right, so I feel like I won't, if I do this now, I'm not going to get too lost um, in my in my um, quest here for stuff. Let's put a little purple one back here. It feels very hot in here, John. Is there some particular reason? Did you forget to turn down the AC? Oh, I did my queen. May I buzz and do that right away? Yeah, you sure can, because it definitely feels hot in here. In this room. It's because of all this brilliance you're oozing, my queen. Well, yeah. It's your brain power. It's the brain power. Here's another little red one behind this. All right, behave yourself while I'm gone. All right, so I'm just doing that. And, um, uh, need a tiny brush. I liked all the bright colors, though. i got to tell you, I liked all the bright colors. Like, for instance, I liked the fact that this umbrella had a bright yellow, and this was a bright yellow umbrella right here. I'm going to put that in. I don't think this paint is going to take that long. Once we get the lay in the colors, uh -huh. I'm very hopeful, don't you think? I don't think so. Here was a green tint. This is a kind of a bright green tint right there. Coolness is forthcoming, my queen. I can feel it already. Excellent. Excellent. Let's see. He's going to come over here with some green. Okay. So, we're just looking for fun colors to put in the umbrella. I, I don't know. We, I'm not a big fan of the going to the beach with all this, this many people, regardless of what's going on in the world. I mean, it's just, that's not my favorite thing to do, but... You know, you can see from the pictures that we're showing you, right, that the beach has been, um, it's a tradition for centuries. I mean, for over 100 years, people have felt like going to the beach was just the thing to do. Yes? Yes and yes. And, um, and you can see that, then that's what they do. Which didn't make sense to me. I, I, I never did that. Now, Nancy did. She was a beach bunny. Yeah. I did. Is Nancy watching tonight? I, if Nancy, you didn't get my. That's John's sister. We sent you a little gift, to Nancy. If you're watching, should come tomorrow. Just good way to produce a public message. There you go. So I'm gonna go. Oh yeah, Ginger's iPad is on a uh, a, a thingy that rolls around type. Pull pull it out for a second so we can just see. And it swivels and stuff. See. And rotates. Can you see it? And yeah. I, and I can blow, I can take a section and blow it up. So can, she knows can what you, you're looking at. Can you at. see that? Can yeah. you see that? Well, not that way, the way you had it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Why are you showing it to the monitor? I don't know. I give up. <laughs> but <laughs> I don't know, John. But I don't know where anything is, but I'm showing it. Come yeah, on. you're trying to show you it. Hang in there with now me. Now push right? it out of the picture again. You're too close. Yeah, okay. 
Because those were, those were handy, very, very handy. See, so we've got these. I'm telling you, this, there's just, there's something really quite wonderful. I love these paints because I don't have to, you know, want a bright color somewhere. I'm putting it and just, uh, uh, there. There, we get it. We're, we're starting to feel beach now, aren't we? You guys kind of feeling a little beach? I'm feeling a little beachy. And as we get in the background, I can use this pale color here to put maybe one of these background tents. And um, let's do a little blue back here. Let's do a green tent back here. All right, so. Uh, David would like to know, Ginger, does the bridge work when you're using an easel? No, you have, there's a different kind of bridge. When you're using an easel, you use something, it's a stick that tapers, and then there's like a ball on the end of it. And that, that's for the easel. Yep. So that's, um, to, yeah, totally different, um, totally different little animal there, the, um, the stick for the, that. Ron would like to know, what does Ginger think of Grumbacher's student-grade paint? Not much. <laughs> Safe answer. Yeah, I'm telling you what, if your time, what's your time worth? Is it worth going over and over and over again a color? Because you don't save any money with these student-grade paints. People think they save all this money. All they do is just get aggravated, and then they discover that they're painting, um, they have trouble painting, and then they think it's them, and... Um, and it isn't them. It's their. A lot of times, it's either their brush, or the paint they're using. And we both brush has a lot to do with it. Yep. Yvonne would like to know why is Ginger painting the foreground first instead of the background? Because I traced all this in. And she didn't want to rub it away. And I and I, and I uh, uh, we're doing impressionistic painting, so it doesn't really matter. The way I'm doing this, it doesn't really matter. But um, but basically, that would be my best, my first answer. Is um, that's probably your best answer doing, too. Uh, you know, we're doing impressionistic painting. So um, um, yep. using a small I'm brush. I like how that water's going in. Yeah, see? So we're just doing little brush, overlapping brush strokes, right? Um, helps to decide where your, where your water level is and where it's coming, right? Well, people set up on the beach, and then um, they discover that the tide comes in and out. <laughs> <laughs> so what seemed like an excellent spot, a first come, first serve kind of thing, let's get Slowly down here got close wet. by the water, and then they've got to move, and their nifty spot is now lost, and they're way back by the parking lot. I remember when Cinnamon was little, like a baby, we'd gone, come from... Uh, Colorado to um, visit um, Southern California, and I, I guess we'd moved there by then. Which she wasn't very old though. No, I think we were still visiting. We hadn't moved there. We didn't move till she was six, so she was probably about four or five. And we'd gone to this beach, and there was this, the, there was the parking lot, and then there was like a half a block or more of beach, beach, sandy beach, before you got even near the water. Yeah. So, um, anyhow. She had taken off her sandals, and when we got, and the sand was getting hotter and hotter, and we were getting ready to go, and she'd buried them, the little brat. She'd buried her shoes and couldn't remember where. <laughs> had a long way to get back to the car, right? Across miles of hot sand, and she was a little bit bigger to carry. Does that make sense? Yeah. Where are your shoes? I buried them. Well, where do you think that might be? I don't know. Maybe they're here. Uh, maybe they're here. I, I don't know. I don't know. 
There was a lot of I don't know <laughs> stuff, right? Is it, are, are they here? Well, isn't that the basic answer? I don't Why'd know. Why'd you do that? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Well, you must have known why you did it. Well, she buried her shoes. She hit them. And, did you ever uh, find them? Two different places, too. We found one, and then we were looking. I think we finally gave up and just took her and one shoe and went home because we would have been there all afternoon trying to figure out where this darling child had decided to um, <laughs> to bury um, her, um, her shoes. Perhaps she was a pirate in a past life. I like it. Do you like it? Yeah, I like it. All right, cause this is kind of fun. I want this to be a cheerful kind of... I want this to be a very cheerful painting. It looked like a cheerful painting so far to me. Does it look like a cheerful painting? It does painting? so far. I want this to be really cheerful. Um, my feeling is that that's what it needs to be. And, um, well, see how you went around those people over there. That's yeah, I just kind of went around them. Um, don't want to get them wet. Yeah, I don't want to get them wet. This kind of this is where there's some people's just got their t toe in the water, right? Because surprisingly, the water is not that warm in um, July yet. It's usually August till the water in the beaches starts to get warmer. Uh, and you're talking about a day when things are getting much, much warmer. But the, the water's kind of fun now, yeah? Any fun questions, John? Any well, fun think, questions? Yeah, anything mm. good? We got some questions? That's not, you're sitting here kind of like watching grass grow, isn't it? You know, all these little brush strokes. No, we're watching water be painted. There's no grass. Are you doing grass? Blue grass? <laughs> Ooh, we're in Kentucky. It's the blue grass <laughs> in Kentucky. I knew we moved. <laughs> no, we seem to be... Um, we had one troll going through there, but we... the. Troll patrol went there and nabbed them and threw them out. Ooh, sounds serious. Yeah. I just don't understand garden. why I don't understand why people do that type of stuff. It just it makes no sense to me. Do they have nothing else to do in life? Well, what it just there's just no end to it. That, that what makes no sense these days, isn't there? No, just um, it really. I isn't. mean, if you were trying to make sense out of the world, right? This is not the world to do it in. This is not the world to do it in. Not not this year. I had a nightmare the other night about we were on a cruise ship. That's not a nightmare. And um, well, what it sounded pretty good. We were on this cruise ship, and then um, they had social distancing, and half the ship was empty, and um, <laughs> and we were all crowded in the other half. And um, uh, I didn't know where our room was, and <laughs> somehow you and I got separated. And um, I, 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 it, the, in order for them to make this work, it had to be a much bigger ship than normal. So I was still trying to figure out where the front desk was. I could ask somebody, and um, all the crew wore masks. It was, I was thinking this was a mistake. <laughs> Just why did we come, right? Francis would like to know if I sign up for the Wave and Water, will I get to do the design class? Yes, so you can be part of that absolutely. But you have to email me because you won't be in my current list. So anybody new that comes into Wave and Water wants to play in our new um, goodies, our new testing, I need to know, because you won't automatically be put in. It's going to be a small group of people, I think about 50. We have a couple hundred in the Wave and Water, but a lot of those don't. A lot of those people are in there just to paint the wave in water, and they don't want to play, which is fine. Well, if you're the kind of person that um, prefers to paint from your own uh, photos, um, you want it, and you want it, you know, to do that. Um, one of the if your ultimate goal is, then you should participate. Then, then, then the design class is for you, because you really what we're going to what we're explaining is what you need in a photo to um, to, to make it from work, it, right? So, um, no, the design class has not started yet. No, we're still um, we're And again, still this is it. not an official release of the design class. We're using the Wave and Water people just to help us figure out what, exactly what we want to teach. Uh, what size brush are you using? Queen 3 8? Yeah, this is a uh, quarter. <gasps> Ooh. It's pretty little. I could have yeah. used a bigger <clears throat> one, but 
I wanted nope, a little bit of this overlapping movement in here too. Well, yeah. It can to keep it very impressionistic using a smaller brush on yeah, a big canvas. Yeah, just, just, that's it. I'm just, I'm just kind of doing this. I just want some sort of happy, it's going to be kind of a primitive painting, I think, when we're done, but I think it'll still be fun. And I think it, it will imply the holiday. Most of us were home uh, dur during the weekend. We didn't go anywhere. Um, we had, I was watching that, you know, we live in Texas, and um that we were watching the um, news, and one of the hospitals in um, San Antonio has a new procedure, you guys, where uh, not everybody has this, and it's a, and it it came about because of this um, this illness that people are getting, and what they can do is they can take um, how to explain it, John? Why I'm painting? They blue. do what they do is they take a very big tube and take a gallon to two gallons of blood out of your body a, a minute, reoxygenate it, and put it back in. And they say that's even better than a ventilator. Yes, because you're not it, damaging it, the lungs. It, it, not damaging the lungs rather than forcing. And it, um, there's only, um, they only have like, what, six machines? Yeah, very new science. Yeah, but it is like the leading edge on this stuff, you know, as far as, as, as far as. Um, but they've had great results. Yeah. So the whole idea is to get oxygen into your blood because that's where it needs to get to, and the ventilators are finding are damaging the lungs because you're forcing the air in. So um, anyway, they, the now they're um, uh, it. I don't know what other hospitals have that, but um, that's San Antonio Hospital does, which I thought is kind of neat. Um, We'll just keep painting here. Do you need to be an advanced painter for the design lessons? Yeah. Yeah, when we release it to the public, there will be a basically a qualification, a few test paintings and things like that. Because we don't want you to waste your time or your money. We want to make sure that you've got the skill set to do what we're going to be teaching. It's going to be basically a college level lessons. For the ones that really want to paint their own goodies. I have no idea how much blood is in a body. You're saying one and one and a half gallons? That's a good question. That's a Google question. I, I don't know, but I, we just they were showing that on the news last night. They're just pumping and it out. I mean, it's a huge, I mean, it was like an inch and a half uh, tube coming out of there. Did didn't it? Yeah, it was huge. Yeah, it was um, it was impressive. I think it's cool if somebody came up with the idea. Well, yeah, and and it's it's good to be good for a lot of illnesses, not just this. Whatever this invention was, it's going to help a lot of people. And when we all yeah, get that's what it is. Well, Donna says it's like a bypass machine when they have open heart surgery. Open heart surgery, which is true. It's just a, a lot bigger. Yeah. But, There's a lot of blood pumping what, out of there. I think what we got to, you know, I know people are getting a little depressed, and I understand that, but I think what we've got to take cheering from, it's a little bit of heart, take to heart, is the fact that um, um, all over the world, this just isn't happening in the United States. This is happening all over the world, and there are very smart people living in a lot of different countries, and everybody is working on solutions. You've never had in the history of mankind so many people working on the same problem, you know? And that's, that's how answers happen. That's how answers happen. That's how you get, um, um, definitely how you get um, solutions to, to come about. Um, you know you just, you've, you, you, you just do. And so I, I think that is as encouraging as anything to me, John. Absolutely. What, because you've got everybody's working on it. And when you've got everybody thinking about something... You come up with cool things. Yeah. And um, and they're not trying to... They're, and also, sometimes when everybody say everybody was working on a cure for something else, right, that isn't so critical, critical to the person that has it, but maybe not to everybody else, right? Right. Um, 
you've got people trying to get the Nobel Prize or some sort of prize or whatever it is they're trying to do. And um, so um, they're not sharing information, right? Because it's their thing, yeah? But with something like this, people are sharing information. The information's being shared. Yeah? Indeed. And, and, and so it isn't just um, one person saying, well, I'm gonna not, I, I know, but I'm not going to tell. There isn't any of that. So that's very, to me, again, very encouraging. Um, it's, it's nice to think, for instance, St. Jude's Hospital, when they find, a, you know, they work strictly on diseases that affect kids. And when they find something that's effective, it's not just uh, for them. They'll share it with all the other hospitals, even though they did all the research, and they, they share it for free. Um, that's why so many people support them. And um, anyway, just I, I'm encouraged. I don't know if you guys are, but I'm feeling a little bit encouraged um, because of that, because of the fact that people are... Um, really trying to, you know, do the right thing and... Oh, are you putting the building in? Yeah, I'm putting this building in over no, here. I thought you would. I'm going to put the... Give a little bit of foundation. Is the newsletter going out yet? I usually don't know anything about the design class. No, nothing has gone out about the design class as of yet. The Waving Water people that I have listed currently in the academy, as of yet last night, will be getting an email through our newsletter email system, Constant Contact. And I'm going to have them enroll and say yes, they want to participate. I don't want thousands of people. All right, got that little building in. I'm going to move this for just a minute. And um, uh, let's see, what can we, what, I'm letting that sit there. What can we do? Let's get a little bit of beach going here. Well, wait, that's pretty good. There's some grass here. Let's do that. Let's get a little grass going, too. Over there by um, the building. What, what you've got in San Diego, if you've never been there, what they've got is something called ground cover. And um, and they have these ice plants that are gorgeous. They they can live with absolutely no hardly any water. And um, they're um, Don't you love all the colors? Come on, you guys. This is fun, right? All the great colors. It's a perfect anyway, paint so they, set. Huh? It's a perfect paint set for something like this. Oh, this is a perfect paint set. I don't even have to mix a color. I just grab a color and play with it a little bit, right? Say, this is fun. What else can I put? Where else can I put a color? What size brush have you gone to now? Half? Uh, this is a half, half, I think. Let me yeah. put my glasses on. This is a half. So, the hills are coming alive. Yeah, they're kind of coming alive, right? Please finish, please finish the story of the ice plant. Oh, thank you. Um, so anyway, <laughs> that ice plant will grow I I anywhere, and you can get it in all the colors. So pe people would, and, and they plant it on these hills so that they don't erode. 
so it stops erosion and they they're kind of they're succulents and they they have little leaves like my thumb like little funny shaped leaves and when you, they squish and pop kind of you know <laughs> just saying they do right and um they're nice and they then they give a, a lot of the you know the uh, when people have a beachfront home they'll plant the ice plant um you can have it anytime you have it you know and it's a, one of those wonderful plants where you don't need to be a particularly good gardener to um, um, to have some good plants, you know, to have some, you know, um, um, to have flowers. And you can you can write your name and the flowers, and you can have they come in all these colors. I mean, they're just wonderful ice plants. So it's not it's a great story, but that's something you'll. You'll see here, and you know, you'll see in Southern California are these ice plants. Okay, and as we get further back to the left, the plant, everything gets a little darker back over here. And uh, we're doing this. Uh, it's getting a little darker over here. Let's see, it's a little blue with that, too. I would say still these paints are going a long ways, wouldn't you, John? Yes. Yeah, yes. I'm really surprised you're getting this much this much mileage out of them. I mean, we are. Because you, know? you put a lot more out of the heavy bodies to do this. Yeah, and they, they use up really quick. Which gets, you know, I'm getting kind of spoiled. Because these, these are still wet. They're all happy. And we like happy paint. Yeah, we do. They're all happy here, and... Um, goes with the happy tents. Yeah, absolutely. Again, we're not talking too much about this stuff, but we're just saying that this is down in here. Hey, that's a nice looking that's, that's, hill. That's, that's a nice looking beach color, isn't it? Yeah. Over the gray kind of tones it down a bit. It's there but not yelling at you. Yeah, there we go. We're getting some some coast. And um Usually what happens with, sand, you know, the sandy beach kind of, you know, goes up against the cliffs. It's constantly eroding. So let's take some of that color in a little more white. And see, like, I like this, like I say, I like this beach color. Rhonda loves the way you're doing the cliffs. Oh, thank you. Um, I think we need something pretty big and dark up there, so we'll just stop this for now. And, and yes, I thought I know there's a bunch of houses up there, but my personal feeling was that that um, I put trees. That you know, the, what if there was a sky? A little sky and a few you know, trees. What if there there's a sky? What if we um. What if we bought all those houses and told those people to move? <laughs> tore them down. They're, they're all, we tore them down. What do you think? <laughs> they, they were ruining our view of our painting, so we're just, you've all moved. We're, we're paying you comp fair compensation, but you've got to go, right? What if we said that there was a blue sky up here? Would uh, you could consider what you're doing still base coating and blocking in, or are you still, it's kind of a combo? Well, it's kind of a combo at this point. Yeah. Because, you know, I did the gray for the base coat, and then thought that, you know, at this point we would just... 
lay some um, colors in and lay some colors in and see how it went, right? This is the first large canvas we have painted with the Salvador paints. Yeah, and the, we haven't done anything this big except for the peacock on, on YouTube that was this big that was more yeah. abstract. So this is probably the biggest one we've tried to do on um, on YouTube uh, that was this big. And um, we'll just say these go up like that, you know. We were trying to buy them all, but then some people just wouldn't sell. Always <laughs> happens. Hold out. There's always, a, there's always the people in the group that didn't want to sell. So, all right, let's do something a little darker up here. Let's just bring these cliffs all the way up. Come on over here. And uh, I'm gonna say that there's some still some stuff growing up here. The Salvador paints are considered a professional grade paint. Yeah, and they certainly act like it. I mean, I got to tell you that they certainly act like it. Gonna get rid of this gray here and okay, and the same thing with um oh, this blue color here. Let's try this. Now, so far so good. Looking good so far, yes. When I'm not really trying to let anything dry either, I'm just kind of coming in here like this and kind of working just, it. Just kind of working around it, right? Working around it and mixing it on the canvas. And mixing it on the canvas, like for instance, you've got so this pretty bit of purple right here, and I'll just break that up with a bit of. Sandy Cliff here, All right? So that's that's coming along, right? Yes, and yes. Fun. I haven't you know? We'll we'll get to those swimmers yet. Those little people swimming. What do you think? <laughs> We're working our way towards them. sand in now. Yeah, just getting a little bit of our sand beach in here. The bit would like to know, Ginger, how are you keeping the colors from blending into mud? Um, I'm using uh, colors of the same family, I'm not painting with complementary colors over wet complementary colors over dry ones, I mean wet ones. In other words, I'm not painting red over green. Um, so these are all colors that I could mix together anyway. Does that make sense? Um, so we're doing something like that. And uh, as long as you stay away from the complementaries when you're wet, you're you're safe. Yeah, pretty pretty safe. You got to stay in the same family, same side of the color wheel. Yeah, and there's some. Don't go to the opposite side when they're wet. And I'm, there's, they're really the the because we took this off the t TV actually because we took it off the TV everything's kind of really grayed. <laughs> yeah, know, the very color wasn't new. all that great, right? So, no. Sorry, but it just wasn't. You kind of have to fill in the blanks. A little bit of wave action coming in. Yeah, a little bit of wave action, and we know I've got... So 
So we want to sit there and suggest that there's wave action coming this way. Notice I'm zigzagging it in, right? So I'm zig zigzagging in a little bit of this coast, and then there's a. I'm seeing my picture here, like the, even under here, there's a little bit of dark line here. So I, I'm still playing with the values of some of this. See? But, um. There, see? I mean, and that, that gives you some real, um. Uh, what I think would I think of th think of in terms of depth to the picture when you're doing this, right? So um, let's see what we can do up in the front here. Um, Rachel says, "Ginger, this painting is gorgeous. The Salvador paints are amazing." Yeah, I th I think you 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 don't really see how cool they are on a small one, right? Well, I think you do. I do. But maybe you do, but I mean, you can really... You can really see it on a big canvas like this? this like this light peach color with a little bit of purple kind of grays that out and gives you this sort of, you know, kind of grayed off sandy beach here like that. I mean, I know gives there's a little nice person color. here. And you're starting to... Yeah, and that's a nice color, right? And... Um, I could have painted some of the people in, but you could get. I don't think, you know, I know this is a big painting, right? But we're not trying to, again, what we're we're not trying to um, do do that much detail. All we're saying is that there's some people at the beach, right? And we'll have people to put the people fun. in. Might, that might take me a little longer, right? But um, we're just saying that there's people at the beach and um, they're having fun, right? Because we didn't get to go to the beach. Not, I'm not <laughs> bitching. I'm just suggesting we we didn't go to the beach. Yes and yes. And um, it's too hot and too sandy. Yeah. Though when I lived in California with um, and Cinnamon's dad and I went to the beach quite a bit in those days when Cinnamon was younger. Um, one of the things that I had was I had a, a neon Sentra car. It was their basic model, and instead of carpet, <clears throat> it had vinyl. And the salesman kept trying to get me to buy a car with carpet. And I said, we're spending a lot of time at the beach. So to, for us, that wouldn't work. You know what I mean? So we d didn't really want any um, cars with a lot of with carpet. Okay? Make sense? If you're a beach person, that would be the last thing I'd have, be carpet. Yeah. Never found much use for the beach. Well, I like the water. Yeah, and the water's nice. Like the waves. All right, so let's see where else we can. There's quite a bit of this color that's involved in back in here, and then I'm going to have to put some people. But um, you can start laying a little bit of sand. I think I'm going to have to erase a few people and then uh -oh. just put some stuff back. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry, people. Now, remember, don't we've got to still do a little purple with that sand. But as we get back here, are your tents all dry now? What? Oh, the tents are dry now, aren't they? Yeah, they're dry. There's more tents going in here too. I just, yeah. I just did a few. I need a little more purple. It's just a little bright back here. And 
and uh, What a great selection of colors. Isn't it? Don't you just love it? Just, 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 if you're just a person that loves color, who wouldn't want this? Um, this great offering. Yeah, I mean, this is, these are great colors. I and mean, when you think you can get this whole set, this whole set that I showed you, for under $25, including 12 brushes, which I don't use the brushes that much, but, I mean, I'm telling you, you, how, how could you? But that is something Salvador's looking at. They asked us about the brushes and why we don't use them, so I did a little video for her and, and told her about the brushes and, and the titanium white. It's the first company we've ever seen that listens, and they reacted. I mean, the first thing, the first kit we got, we didn't like the caps because I had trouble opening them. Solved. <laughs> didn't have enough white. Solved. Then they asked for more questions. So we'll see what comes up next. Some of that ground cover I told you about, that ice plant. Did I read that here? this painting will be in the auction? I don't know. Yes. It will be, but I, I didn't write it down there, but somebody might have. Yes, it will be in the auction. Now, auction, hopefully, by the well, weekend. Well, you know, if, we didn't, if you didn't get out to the beach this summer because you, you, you were doing you, the practice you, you were doing, doing social the practice distancing like you're supposed the, to be. Yeah, the grown-up said, <laughs> stay home, and you said, okay, Makes fine. sense to me. Yeah, right? Then then you're going, well, wait a minute. Yeah? So, um, yeah, so you might have um, uh, thought that that was a, you know, a good idea like we did. We just, well, wouldn't have gone anyway, let's be honest. I don't want to sound too righteous here. We were going to the beach. <laughs> you know, I put my beach time in when I was married to Cinnamon's dad, and I feel like I've just practically, you know, have a degree in beach. It's a, I used to like to ride horses. And um, we do a lot of competitive trail riding. And the trade-off was uh, for so many beach days for him. <laughs> he grew up in Wyoming, right? So he was over the horses. And it wasn't the horse thing. It's just that um, he had watched, you know, there were no beaches. And he felt somehow very deprived, yes? And well, yeah, Wyoming, I think, is lacking in beaches. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And... Um, so, you know, the, the idea of being able to, to go to a beach was just splendid for him. You know, he loved that, right? That's a little bright right there. Take that out. So, um... Yes, Ginger is using a photo reference that will be available to our beginner basic supporters and above. Yeah. And, um... Well, I guess it was stated in the newsletter. You're right. I don't read what I write half the time. Are you kidding? You I'm do. just lucky to get them out there fast enough. John, the Salvador brush is too soft. Goldie, they are a little soft for ginger style. Ginger likes to push they're the paint fine around. With water, they're fine with probably great watercolor brushes, probably. They're, they're great if you just want to lay the paint down, but if you want to move the paint, they don't move the paint. Ginger's a mover of the paint. There's a difference, yep. different style. Yeah, my favorite brushes right now are still the Ruby Satin Silver, the only ones I use. And um, I'm very, we're very cognizant of the fact that they're, um, they're, that, you know, we're, that's what we, you know, that's what we like to use. And um, all right, so let me just see, what am I going to do up here? Because this is normally full of houses. So, all right, let me just come on up here and put my ground cover here. Still working on our cliffs. Cl cliffs are working, though, right? They're looking great. You know? John, where did I get... Uh, Rachel, do a search for Ginger Cook Live at gingercooklive.com in your email and see if you can find us. We're in there somewhere. Yep. 
that's how you can find it. We usually end up in the uh, spam folder for whatever reason. Ginger, are you following the colors from the photo or putting in your own choice? I'm following the values from the photo. The values only, because the colors do not look like Let me like just, this. for the fun of it, take, bring you back to, oh, you took the photo. I did, but I can plop it back over there you for just you. Just pop it back over, and I'll show you. I'm doing the values from the photo, uh, not necessarily the colors. I'm just getting it out of your way. Silly me. No, it's good. I'm glad you did. I'm doing the you know values from you know the values from the photos, and not just the um, uh, the colors. But I wanted to explain to you where all these colors come from. Um, on something like this. Thank you. So uh, again, let me just uh, show you the photo again. Here's the here's the photo again. All right, and um, so we're doing trying to do the values, not necessarily the colors. Yes and yes. Yes and yes. Yes and yes. Like, for instance, um, we're going to still suggest that that cliff keeps going up there, even if it kind of levels out in a couple places. This one had a very nice big piece of cliff going up here. Wyoming has dinosaurs instead of beaches. Yeah, they did. You know, and that's they have you never if you've ever been to their dinosaur um uh National Park. It is so cool. They found all these dinosaur bones in, in Wyoming, and they've got this national park, and you can, they've got this, well, I haven't been there in 40 years. It's probably much better, but even when I went, it was pretty impressive. And you could go in and you can see, di you know, see what they built, you know, dinosaurs they built. And it's one of the best repositories of dinosaurs in the country. Guess what? It just is. I don't think I've ever been to Wyoming. Um, Cinnamon's dad had such a, he was so funny about that. See, these kind of, this is sort of slants forward here, this, this wall here. And then just kind of comes down into this purple thing. This building. What year was the reference photo taken? Two days ago. It's, yeah. That was from the 4th. It was from the 4th of July, you guys. 4th of July, 2020. 2020, that's what this is. We just, uh, we're just being... Practicing <laughs> social distancing. We're just practicing social distancing. <laughs> we haven't put the people in yet, you know. <laughs> that's we why it looks so good so far. We told them to leave the umbrellas and get the heck out, right? Yep. David would like to ginger to paint a dinosaur. Ooh, no. that could be a John's pick. Well, I tell you what. you got to understand, when we're talking about... Our tractor got no traction whatsoever, no pun intended, right? We, it got we, zero. Uh, the purpose that we do these YouTube videos is so people possibly, we have our, you, we know you guys love us and we appreciate it, but we want other people to see us too. And um, um, they can, they're more likely to look at, you've got to pick pictures that they actually want to look at. Does that make sense? And paint. And paint. And, you know, dinosaurs ain't it, friends. Um, I hate gotta, to tell you that, that has a limited market appeal. It, very it, similar it, it, to the We tractor. don't do kids' pictures. We're we're very careful. Oh my gosh, YouTube has gone so crazy about painting anything that kids might like. Yeah. But we're very careful. This video is not for kids, and no, 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 we didn't paint it for kids. And blah Ooh, blah, right? The Salvador paint set is on sale again for sixteen ninety nine right now. Put our coupon with it, take another fifteen percent off, and it's free shipping for Prime members. 
We should get another four pack. Yeah, it, that's a great deal. So how much would that be, John? Uh, Seventeen and uh, well, I you know uh, roughly speaking, another two bucks off of that. So, like so, so seven, fifteen to seven, fifteen to sixteen dollars. Oh my God! How can you guys not get that? I mean, that's just a deal. All right. The Didn't link and the coupon code are in our description. Okay, so um, that is really looking nice. Thank you. So the um, uh, let's see, where are we with our water? Let's get out a little zinc white. Um, what can you use their white? Where's their white? Yeah, let's just use their white. Their white is zinc white. Yeah, let's get out the Salvador white because that's a little more transparent. Okay. Didn't mean to squeeze out that much. Okay. All right, so what do we know for sure? Whoops, we know that we didn't want to knock that over. All right, to move this over here like that. What do we know for sure is that we've got... Okay. We've got a wave coming this way. So th th that is the Salvador white. That's their titanium white. It's a perfect zinc white, transparent white. They they think it's titanium, but so you've got well, to be careful. Well, it's titanium, but it's it's just not. It, it, it doesn't have the coverage power. But it's she's going to look into it. I assume. She asked me to tell her why. Well, it does great for that, though. I mean, that, that to me is a perfect choice. Yeah. See, I want a, a, a sort of a translucent um, color here, and um, uh, to get the feeling of this beach, right? I, I don't know. I, I realized this was sort of an insane one to do for YouTube. I didn't even put my watch on. How are we doing? Been on at least an hour, right? Oh, at least. And I again, I apologize for how long. But cinema was on the other day for like three, so I guess it's okay, right? Well, that's cinnamon, though. We're not cinnamon, huh? I know. Okay. Well, I tell you, you, look at that overall. That really looks like waves coming in. I tell you, you keep doing this. You're going to be good at this. Think so? I think so. Uh, let's put a little of that zinc white up here. Let's make some clouds up here. Let's just do a little bit of clouds up in this area um, above the... The description is below this video. You probably have to press a button that says see more, show more under Ginger's picture. Slide down a little bit and it says show more, and it's in there. Any deals in Canada? Nothing that I heard of as of yet. Nice clouds. I'm liking that. Yeah, I think that, you know, there's always those marine clouds, right? Yeah, that's it. That's it. You can just, then you can kind of, maybe they're coming over and sort of pushing this back. A little bit of haze back there, a little ocean, ocean haze. Okay, so, so far so good. Yes and yes. I didn't have to talk about that anymore, yeah? No? Nope. Now let's take a little titanium white, come up to the front of this. You see how much brighter that, you see the difference? When you're talking about titanium as opposed to... You know, it's not in the description, guys. I don't know what the discount code is. It's Ginger Cook 15 or something. It's right there. I don't know if I can copy all that in there, but I'll try. Here's some of their white now because they don't want it quite so bright coming along the coast. Yeah? Not too many characters. Now, that's nice, right? Yes and yes. So is Ginger C15 off is the coupon code? Something I've noticed about this wave that I wouldn't have noticed unless I was looking at, at, at the reference yeah. was that there's a little bit of a dark line right here. A little shadow action? A little shadow action where this is coming in. See? I mean, just small, but, you know, there it is, right? But it makes a difference. See, and I'm just kind of wiggling the brush. See how fast this brush is moving? Well, sometimes you guys don't see that. It's not, I'm not just drawing a line. I'm wiggling it and then moving it, almost like I'm connected to something electric, and then just keep moving the brush. So, um, 
well, we've got the feel of this, don't we? No, don't we? Don't we feel like we have the feel of this? Of uh, let's uh, let's keep going with the um, it, in the picture. The water is very light up here, right? But it was very faded out, so I don't, I don't want it too light. But we know we've got no, something lighter up here. I think you can do better than the actual photograph. Yeah. So there you go. So it's just something like that. There we go. I'm liking this, right? And there's a few little streaks here. We just need need some streaks where our little beach people are. It's where the sand comes in and um, you know there's a you know where the water is um, let's see there's just a little bit of beach here that's kind of there but it the, the tide's coming in so you don't really see where that sand is, but we'll put a little of that there. And um, now, believe it or not, I'm looking at this, and be, you like this umbrella, it's all full of people. <laughs> so, um, let me just put this over here like that, and we'll have to start putting in, I'll have to start putting in some of the detail on this. Um, I want to lighten some of this over here. Okay, so there we go, beach. All right, now changing brushes. Let's get the little one out and start. Let's start putting in stuff for you. Yeah? Putting like, in some people's. To putting in people and stuff. Well, I can put in some more. Um, some I need more to put sand. in more things. I think I'm out, out, out of all the blue, blue paint now, but look, we went a long ways, didn't we? We so, got uh, the majority of that painting done, yes. We got at least half of it done with us, you know. So, um, I have found it actually goes further, which is interesting. And I think it's because it's not drying out so fast, would be my guess of why I feel it might be going a little further. Okay. So, um, here is a discount coupon code for the international folks, which I don't know if that's Canada or not. I know you're international, but I don't remember if it worked there. It is G Cook World 15. What do they do with that, John? That is if you're international. I, I hear that, but what does that mean? Any of the Salvador products that you purchase, like in the UK, you would use the G Cook World 15 coupon code. You would. You would. All right. So for the world orders, and they say that when they have more products out, that our coupon code will continue working on all their different products, or at least for a while. That's awfully nice, isn't it? Yeah. So now I'm giving a second coat of paint, some of the white, yeah. So I come through here. We're starting to build up the beach, yes? Build up the crowd. Build, a, build up the crowd, yeah. Now as I, as I look at this, um, I need to make this brighter. Yeah. So you need that. You need the, you need the uh, golf course green. Yeah. Let's do a. Let's do a. Let's do another red one down here. This is blue, but in my photo. But let's do another red one. There's a nice big umbrella down here. Let's do another red one. I bet I know why you're using the red. Got that green right next to it. Yeah. Can't fool me. Okay. So this is another tent down here. I'd be here. learning. And um, put a little red down in the corner, and then there was a little uh, pink. Um, these people have no qualms crowding together. <laughs> They're all family. You can go together with your family. Yeah. Okay, so there was that, right? Now, and I think we said there's another little pink thing back here. Um, 
Well, it's we just, are. now it's just getting fun, isn't it? I mean, don't you think so? I, was, I thought it was fun putting, seeing you put the cliffs in. Did you? Yeah. I was impressed with that. Oh, well, that's good, right? Always good to be impressive. And, uh, uh, let's see, what do we want to say around, I want to say that the, I believe there is only one seller for the paint kits. There's only what? One seller. You know how some products have multiple sellers. I don't believe Salvador has anybody else yet. The seller that, or the discount code and things that we're giving you is for the kit that we have on our listed with our affiliate link in the description. Sometimes the uh, coupon code works twice for people on second orders and third orders and fourth orders, and sometimes it doesn't. Do I, I don't know what controls that. It might be your status with Amazon or something else. Not a clue. fun time putting all those people in. I know, but you guys don't mind, right? No. You know, I'm just going to, I've got to fill in with beach and then we'll fill in with people, right? But i got to just assume that if there were no people there, there'd be some sand, right? Kathy just got the kit for $14.44. Oh, man, you stole it, darling. That's great. <laughs> Tell you, I think we ought to pick up another four-pack. I mean, this is, I, I think this is a great value and they go they go far i know An andrew won some i wonder how he likes that he doesn't I don't know if he's gotten his yet because they go to yet. miami and then go over yeah there we go um See, that was a nice dark one. Let's do a dark, dark ledge around this one. Okay. Happy? Yes and yes? Looking good. And just to get full of happy people. Yes, that's what we're going for, happy people. Well, um, they've got to be happy. They're at the beach. Yeah, I know. They're at the beach, man. they they got to be they happy. They said, we're going to the beach. We be going to the beach. That's an interesting color. Yeah, kind of a green there. Oh, Andrew got a nice email from Michelle at Salvador, though. She hadn't gotten the, he hadn't gotten the paint yet. Okay. I'll take him a little bit of time to get his order over to him. Well, this is the first time we've done something this big with, this is all Salvador except for the titanium that you're using from Fluid Golden, right? Yep. And we use their, their titanium for the zinc, which worked perfectly. We have not heard from Daniel Elliott in a long time. Uh, Daniel's, yeah, we have not heard from him. He kind of unjoined our Facebook club, and then that was the end of it. I know he was getting into real estate. I mean, he's not at Jerry's anymore, so I... Yeah, he, yeah, he, you know, he's not at Jerry's. And um, he was... Um, uh, not there. Let's see, let's, let's see. I want this, this flag was this color. And let's come back over here and do this color again on 
This gives this another coat of yellow. Just never hurts, right? Hey, we'd like to thank Lana for the donation that came in through the PayPal system. Thank you very much, Miss Lana. We appreciate that very much, you know. We really, you know, do. If we don't tell you enough how much we do, we apologize because we really appreciate that very much. It helps us keep in paints and brushes and can buy. Yeah, absolutely. It helps students get in that can't otherwise afford us. You know, we feel we're very cheap, but so, um, we understand. Back over here, there's just a lot of little umbrellas and some bright turquoise ones. There really was some bright turquoise ones over here. And that's where they're really practicing the social distancing. Yeah, I mean, I'm telling you what, these people... <laughs> these I just, people I, I'm just curious what it's going to be like in that area in a couple of weeks. I just these, hope it these doesn't. These people just laid it in here. I mean, I'm not making this up. I, I promise you. You think, well, surely that there surely aren't that many umbrellas. Oh, yes, ma'am, there are. And they're all over here like that. One umbrella much like in front of another. Get a little bigger as you come forward, but there's a lot of blue ones. I'm telling you, there was a run on blue umbrellas this time at the beach. It seems like everybody, that's what it, that was the color of choice. Not that there aren't a few red ones. Jerry's never came back to us on the frames. The last frame price they had from us was just astronomical. Yeah, because they, they had to do it by hand. They weren't, in they the weren't US. interested in our business, and they didn't want to do anything. So that was the end of it. Though they do have some frames on their website that do work, and we got those on sale. You know, when they have a sale on their frames, anybody that has sales on frames, that's the best time of time. Because to me, frames are just so overpriced. But so no, thanks for bringing that back up. But no, they did not. The six by eight, nada. Deborah just ordered three sets of the paints for the grandkids. Code work for all three. Of course, they did. yeah, when we got our four pack, we'll work on all of them. Yeah. Okay, so still putting the. <laughs> it's just, it almost looks like a tent city. It is a tent city. You think I'm kidding, but it's a tent city. How do they figure this is social distancing? What were they thinking? I don't know. And then every once in a while you see a yellow tent, which I, I have to get out my... Um, I've, I've messed their yellow up with a lot of green, so I'm just going to get out some bright yellow back here. Well, I don't want anything too bright, but I'll just get out some yellow because I can get it. This is cad yellow medium because it's... Christine says, I love these long paint sessions, too. Looking so lovely, Ginger. Oh, thank you. I don't know if you're looking lovely or if the painting's looking lovely. Well, it could be. Um... <laughs> maybe both. Oh, maybe both. Maybe, baby. Maybe so. I'm just saying to see how we're sort of popping up the color. Um... Here's our flag. Here's a... The flag is that white thing up there, isn't it? This right. is our flag right yeah. there, and there's that's that flag, and that's this flag, and there's this white, and there's another... There's another little... Um, lighter umbrella here. We'll put that in. And see, it's starting to, starting to get cheery, yes and yes. Oh, I think it's very cheery. Melissa says, John, it wasn't social distancing. Half the beachgoers didn't wear a mask. I don't even think it was half. Um, no. I would bet less than 80% people did not have a mask. It's too hot for a mask. So, well, people, people had... Um, uh, definite... Um, A lot of white here. But it's coming along though, don't you think so? Doesn't this feel very impressionistic? Just something kind of, you know, you're thinking about how would you paint something like this, right? Well, that's kind of how we're doing it. 
You know, there was just little dots we, of color back here. We just saw it, and she goes, that's what I want to paint tonight. I go, Ginger, that doesn't matter. This is what I want to paint tonight. Okay. Yeah, just sort of bring in these, these colors in, right? And I want something kind of... It's a great painting to, to display their colors. Isn't it? It is kind of a good painting to display their colors, yeah? And, um... So, we don't, it doesn't have to be, you know, guys, it doesn't have to be perfect. You just have to sort of suggest that something's happening here and uh, go with it, right? Okay. Um, it's getting down to the two sections with the people. It's getting down to the people. You see, I'm putting this off. It's getting down to the people, right? You're, you're running out I of could, things to paint on there, my dear. Just running out of things to paint, right? Well, I mean, this is true. And there's definitely, like, for instance, in here, like... Let's see, Deborah's giving a hint for those that don't know where the coupon code goes. Tell them to go to the cart first to get the place for the coupon code. Don't go directly to checkout. Go to cart first, and you'll see towards the top there how you're going to pay for it and all that. There's a coupon code section right there. Thank yeah. you, Miss Deborah. Good point. Once again, for those that are just joining us, the size of canvas this evening it happens to be a 12 by 24. Miss Ginger does. went crazy. Yeah, she did. Ginger did. <laughs> so, um... Just putting in a little beach in around some of the people I've kind of drawn in here. But you need a little rest area. See, this little area in here is what I would call my rest area. This corner doesn't have so much stuff in it. You got that, and then over in the other corner, the, that darker mountain. Mm -hmm. Those are two quiet areas. Which paintings need a quiet area for the eyes. Otherwise... It's too much for the people to view. All right, keep, I'm keeping going here. I can see that. You this, took that on my screen. I've got to say, let's get over to this side of it. And um, you're going to put the sand in for these guys? He's got to have the sand in here, too. Do you remember the size of the palette that we're using? It's a 12, 12 by 17, I think. Yeah, we have those in the store. We, we bought a bunch of them. Yeah, we <laughs> bought what they had left at the time, I think. I think we bought them out. Keep in mind that um, um, the more that we're all in, you know... 12 by 16. The more that we're all in uh, facing some sort of quarantine, right? The And, just, and I say this... Um, Keep in mind that there's going to be shortages. There's going to be shortages because manufacturers are not um, unable to ship and stuff. So, um, if there's you know certain art supplies you have to have in order to kind of make your painting journey work. Yes and yes. And so my suggestion is um, take a moment to make you know do an inventory of your paints right now. And um, and see where you are with that. Okay. Yeah, we'd like to thank again Andrew for sending us some more Holbein paints. Again, greatly appreciated because they are getting thin thinly available on some of the sites. Yeah, and and wait till you see what we painted with them, Andrew. You're going to absolutely love it. Yeah, we had a couple of good paintings this weekend. Yeah, we have busy people. Yep. 
No, do not buy the Soho gray palette paper or it rolls up badly. Now this is, um, I don't remember now, but they're in our store, 12 by 16 palette paper gray. You want gray, you don't want white. It helps the eyes judge the colors. All right, now right now we're just sort of putting in blocks of color where there are some, like for instance, um, this... Um, some of the activities. This is little um, beach umbrellas coming down like that, those little purple ones. Starting to lighten stuff up. Gray Matters Palette, Steffi has it. They're nice. The reason you want gray is that, you know, we have it so you can see all our colors. But the reason you want it is so that you can see your colors, too. Does that make sense? Yep. You want to be able to see your colors, too. And um, and you can't if um, uh, there's too much going on. Right? Does that make sense? Here we go. Here's another umbrella right here. Al says gray only. White will will be annoying. Ask me how I know. <laughs> I bet he knows because he bought the white. And, you know, one of the things that um, you often find with people that are, say, um, over 50, is that they have a tendency to remember and comment on um, products that that they remember were um, uh, better quality. And I remember when palette, when you'd buy a disposable palette pad and um, all three sides were glued down and you just, not just one. Yeah. Which made it um, extremely nice to, um, to be able to do things. I mean, it was really, really nice to be able to... Um, to uh, do stuff with them, with them because um, see, there's this and there's this and there's there's this and then there's another one right here. Yeah, there's another one back here. Let's just change colors here. There's there's more. I'm telling you, is there any room for these um, tents? I mean, really? There's no, no room for any of this, as far as I can tell. Um, where are you putting all these? Where are the people that go in them? But anyway, that's okay. Um, uh, here's this one. Okay, so we're just... There's a surfboard right here. But what is what is that? I don't know. A surfboard. Here's a here's a tent. Here's another one right here. It's another here's another tent that goes right here. It's coming down here like this. So we again we got a lot of well I guess it's an umbrella and this one's an umbrella. We've got a lot of started to put in all our stuff. Uh, I mean I barely touched the surface with the number of um, uh, stuff that was here. I just can't tell you. Here's our flag. Here's this. Um, let's lighten this up. There we go. Now, um, uh, 
Okay, that's um. Now this one I'm going to use the Posca pen on. Get your stripes in just perfectly. I want the stars and stripes to be probably pretty bit thin. And it's interesting because they wave. Well, they say that. Okay, and um, indicate some stars or something. A few little dots. Okay. All right. So, and then this one over here, got a black one. Not a checkerboard one. Yeah, where's my black pen? <sighs> we got to check them, and then we start putting in some people, you guys. Um, Posca pens are real acrylic paint in a pen, and they don't dry right away, so they're it's pretty cool actually. Uh, the UK Amazon should be getting the Salvador kits. Check them off, and because they are working on supplying everybody, Canada seems to be the hardest one to get into for whatever reason. Mm-hmm. Well, UK, they they were on the list. All right. So we got, I wanted to put in with the flag those two little. Um, with the pins, I wanted to put in with the flag. I'm going to do the stripes again because I didn't quite get them as good as I want. Because they, they don't go all the way across. They kind of bend down a bit. Well, let's, let's let that dry. Let me just, I'll just do that again. Because I, I want that to, um, to be right. And it, they don't go all the way across because the flag is blowing in the breeze. So one of the things you can uh, you can take to the bank about Posca pens is they erase until they dry. Until they dry. So don't you don't panic about stuff like that, right? Because they because they erase. All right. So let's see what we can do about um, throwing in some people and um, and and more stuff, right? Uh, we we've got more stuff to do, but there's certain people that can go in. Uh, now and then we'll do more. Well, let's see. Where's these pens? I'm telling you what, Posca pens while we can. So if you've missed the beach this summer, Okay. All right, let's see, what am I going to do in the, kind of lighten up this one, I like that color. All right. All right, I'm going to start putting in people now. Just start over here with this guy.
There's a lot of dark stuff over in here around his tent. Um, and then you're really not, it's amazing how few people you're actually seeing. You're just, you're just seeing uh, bits of stuff. Let's, I want to put in the main characters and then come back and fill in the also rounds. How's that? Must be terrible to be thought of as an also ran, right, John? Yes. That's all the detail you want, though. You don't want a lot of detail in these people. No, you can't. You can't. You can't put it in. You just have to suggest it. You just have to say that. Okay, here's a. Here's somebody. Um, you know, and then there's there's stuff in the tents which we'll we'll deal with later. Okay, so Shirley, this, Shirley wants to share her experience with the Posca pens I had uh, used yesterday. I used Poscas, let them dry 24 hours, then I tried to use zinc white over them, and they bled. Well, should have used a hair dryer to dry them. They don't bleed for me ever. Not that we've ever You've seen. Got to shake them up. Somebody too. else had when they did their varnish, it bled on them, and I've never had one. No, we've bleed. never had a. I've yeah, never that's had what a blood. Ginger signs all their paintings with, and varnish right over with no problem. Yeah, we've never had a problem. So. Um, just ne never had, you know. But you know. But again, we, you know, we we seal, you know, we seal them with a hair dryer when we're doing stuff, right? Um, and try to make a point of doing that, right? Um, all right, moving along here like this. Um, let's move back around the flag. Terry says, I wish I wasn't such a sock folder. I always have to paint detail. If I rush and paint more freely, then my paintings look sloppy. Any words of encouragement there, Queen? Um, it just, you know, it depends on what you're trying to paint. I think loosely is a misnomer. That somehow if you're a sock folder, you can't paint loosely. Of course you can. But you have to understand what detail you leave in and what you don't leave, you know, what you leave out, right? So, um, you know, you're just, you're just, we're not talking, you know, you're just saying, what you know, you want to, um, you just, you don't know what detail you're leaving in and what you're leaving out, right? Uh, that's, that's the key. I mean. Um, That's not a Monza brush you're using, is it? I don't know what it is, John. I don't think it is. It's just a small brush. You know, we're just suggesting some people here. They're not really, you know what I mean? We're just they're not really people. Yeah, they no, are they're people. people, but they're not. But there's not detail in them. I'm going to no, just give up on the Posca pen and go ahead and do the stripes on the.
flag with this. There, I think we got the feeling of the flag now, right? Yeah. Alright, there's our little flag. and um, Again, we're not trying to say, you know, just... I just don't think people understand how tiny the people are that we're putting in here. <laughs> They're just really tiny. You're not seeing it. There's just little heads and sort of an indication of some sort of body, but there's nothing, right? Oh, Nancy, my sister's in the house finally. Oh, finally. Nancy, we're sending you something if you didn't get my if you uh, didn't message. Get her message. 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 You should get it tomorrow. You're going to love it. Well, John feels you will love it. I hope so. This is one of our bigger people. Yes, he got the message. Oh, good. Message received. Oh, excellent, excellent, excellent. June says this pain. This painting proves that Ginger is the one and only queen of color. Thank you. <laughs> Chris would like to know, Ginger, can Ginger give a finger measurement on some of these people to get an idea? <laughs> well, the little guys out there, they're, they're less than a little finger's worth. Yeah, they're, they're teeny tiny. Yeah, they're tiny. You know, this is just what, what's getting painted here today, you guys, is the, um, is the day at the beach. You know what I mean? San Diego, Fourth of for July. San Diego, 4th of July. And we were just trying to have some fun with this, and um, hope you're having fun with this. And um, there was just all kinds of stuff here that was just, there was just colors. There was just mostly colors. That's just, I'm looking all in here like this, and there's just, there's nothing. It's just colors. It's probably beach balls and their blankets and towels. And a little bit of dark colors and a little bit of light kids colors. Kids running around. Yeah, I mean, it's just it's just colors. It's just so, you know, I don't even know. I couldn't even tell you what it was. They're just colors. And um, uh, same thing here. This has got to be a lighter color here on this umbrella in the front here. And then there was more beach. Were there any surfboards in this one? Um, well, I thought one, but you can't really tell, so I didn't put it in. It doesn't look like the waves in the actual photograph. Yeah, the waves were just even kind of constituted. Out of a couple colors here. Uh, yeah, that's the color I want. That is called um, yellow red, Naples yellow red. That beach color. Good color. Well, it's not a bad color, right? Not a bad color at all. Again, we're just like I say, we just keep putting in the colors. And um, again, I apologize that this is kind of taking a long time, but um, we're trying to get the. Put a little purple in that. color.
So more fun days at the beach, yes? Lots of happy people. Yeah. Just happy people, yes and yes? <laughs> so. Noah would like to know, can we paint it without the people and call it social distancing made easier? I'd say yes. Yeah, you're, how about you're all under arrest? <laughs> <laughs> Leave the umbrellas and come with us, right? <laughs> yep. Yeah? I mean, I'm telling you, right? I'm telling you, these, there's a lot of that, right? And, you know, the... Hey, we have Arthur in the house. Hey, um, we haven't seen any paintings from you in a while. Arthur, are you okay? Well, he gave us a donation, so he's doing fine. Hi, you too. It's good to see you <laughs> John, are doing John. well. <laughs> so he's doing well. John? Arthur, we haven't seen anything from you in a while, bud. Yeah, yeah, you're doing okay? I mean... Yeah, we're a little concerned. Inquiring minds want to know. You know, certain people that we always hear from and see... And you've been missing, M-I-A, as it were. Yeah, missing, missing, yes and yes. Missing in art. Missing in art. Which one was this one? Oh, I want this umbrella. How did I miss this one? Well, we're, we're going to get there, you guys. I'm sorry. I'm, now I'm on a roll. I'll be, I'll be here all no, night. There's no, no, no apologizing. Apologies are over. We will stay here all night with you is what they're telling us. Love, love, love your long videos. Love listening to you guys. Oh, the hilarious... Con there is no hilarious conversations. We are always serious. Right? Yeah. See? Yeah. There's that. And there's this yellow, bright yellow one. There's a lovely... Did you, did you forget one? One got... Yeah, there's a lovely one right here. A lavender. Lavender one. And then well, it yeah, quite some... the colors. So take a little bit of blue and magenta, make a known that lavender. You can make some pretty good ones too, and then. So the reason why this beach is so crowded is the governor shut down all the other beaches, and this is the only beach left open. It was in San Diego. Well, that was <laughs> really wise on his <laughs> part, wasn't it? Wow, that's what you want from your governor, some wise action, yes? Taylor, there's still 627 folks here. There's still 627 folks here. Okay. They haven't left yet. Well, you had people stay with us the full 12 hours when we did that auction marathon. Well, that's true. That's true. That's absolutely true. And, um... I have to do another one of those one of these days. Sometimes you have to go over some of these colors because they just kind of, you know, just, just when you look at the overall picture, then you're going, okay, I need a better color here. And um, look, at all the, look at all those tents in the distance. It's just a herd of people. Yeah, I, I was. It was just, they were all just here, man. They were just here. Um, Susan says, which beach in San Diego? The one that has sand and a lot of umbrella and beach tents on it. We really don't know. We went, We were watching the news. I saw the stuff and we decided to paint it. Because right? we can. We watched it. We, just, we have a big screen TV and I said take a picture of that. I want to paint that. So there's no... Are you confused about what we're painting here? Because this is a giant... Gi <laughs> this was just... Um, <laughs> this was a spur of the moment. I, because I said we're going to be painting tonight. Oh look! Let's paint that. Because I just saw that and just thought it would be so nice. Right? And... Um, what color are you looking for? Ultramarine blue, which oh. is a, which a dry, vi permanent yeah. violet, which is in the wrong tube. It's <laughs> in the ultramarine blue tube. Well, is, you have to know these things. Their colors are their color names are a little different than what we're used to. You have to know these things. There's no problems here. You just have to know it, right? Yes and yes. If you know it, then you're not you're not shocked. Yes. Yes. That's all. You just have to know what's here, and that's. Let's get some more white out so that we can keep putting in our people. <laughs> All our people. I don't know. This is 4th of July in San Diego. I think that that's 
fun, yeah? Uh, it's a little shocking, but it's still fun, yes and Fourth yes? Fourth July 2020. Yeah. Susan says Myrtle Beach in South Carolina was like this on the 4th. Really? I would believe that. That's where we used to vacation when I was a kid. From Ohio, we went to South Carolina. Myrtle Beach. Oh, you know, one of my friends was there after a hurricane. Really? And there was this guy that had this uh, metal detector. And he found a real Spanish doubloon that had washed up on shore. That's cool. I'm telling you what, isn't that cool? All right, we're getting out the... Um... <laughs> what are you doing? Holbein. What are you doing? Gonna... this rose. I knew it. You can't get... No painting is complete without a little purple and a little luminous rose. Uh, I think I have it here somewhere. Luminous red. Okay. David says, this is how, that's how he decides what to paint. I see it, I paint it. It's a good way to go. I don't want opera. I want luminous rose. You had it the other day because I, I saw have, you. I have it. I have it. I just put things. You know me. I put stuff away. <laughs> You're going... You did what? I put it away. Don't you think I probably did? No. No? Oh, hmm. I, well, I can't deal with it, John. Find it for me or not, but I can't <laughs> deal with it. I have to move on. I don't have time to be hunting for luminous rose. Oh, my. The stress of it all. I know. It's just kind of pink over here. don't have time to be hunting for luminous rose colors. There was, all, there was mostly... mostly um, um, pink on the, you know, mostly, um, Luminous uh, rose. Oh, look at that. Thank you. Ah. Oh, mm. what would you do without me, my queen? I don't know. Just, just occasionally you want, some, sometimes you want something really bright. Something really pink. You know, so I want something really bright, so. Here um, it is. That is a great color. Yeah, it's just hard to, it's hard to beat that pink, isn't it? You know, it just kind of brings that, you know, there's a couple places where you want your eye to be, you know, so wanted to bring your eye around the beach, and, um... Oh, do you need to take a break? They're concerned that you've been sitting here too long. I'm good. I'm good. I'm on a roll, man. This is fun. Oh, yeah, when we get on a roll we're recording, you know, we'll think about it. How long do you think the session will be? Oh, I'm thinking maybe hour, hour and a half tops. And she gets into it, four and a half hours later, we're done with the painting. I just couldn't stop. Let's take a little bit of burnt sienna. These people are all tanned. They're not new to this beach. No, I they've been there before. I just want to point this out. These people are not new to this beach. They're all tanned. What does that tell you? They go to the beach too much. That's what it tells me, that these are beach people. You don't get that tan um, in one day, right? I mean, for sure you're not getting... Um, it, it just can't happen, right? It can't. So, um, oh, she's... So, <laughs> fun, right? Okay, so more, more people's going in. We just have a few more. Then we'll just kind of, where's this guy? Or this light blue umbrella. Here, let's just do this light green umbrella right here. This was really a bright umbrella right there. That's that light, that's that green color painted um, with white. That's pretty, isn't it? Don't you like that one? 
What kind of, that's a turquoise. That's that green with white that, that looks like a regular green, but when you put white with it, it goes very turquoise on us, which is pretty, yeah? Because it was a patty color. Patty yeah, one color. That's nice. Let's just, let's not, um, let's not waste that beautiful bright color. I think these people back here deserve a couple um, umbrellas in that color. What do you think? I think they do. Hey, we'd like to thank Nancy for the donation that came in. Thank you both for your work and dedication. Your friend from New Jersey. Oh, Nancy, thank you very much. Using the PayPal system. Thank you very much. All right, so oh, wow, they, these guys are out here, aren't they? Yeah, we'd like to thank Vicky for signing up for the monthly donation plan. Appreciate that very much. Oh yes, thank you. Thank you, thank you. You put it in a person, I can tell. As a little people. Yeah, putting in a couple people here, but these guys are putting in somebody, right? And then um, it's just interesting. The more I do this, the more now this is so interesting to me. The more I do it, like for instance. There's another umbrella back here. I mean, where are these people? Where are they just... They're under the umbrellas. Yeah, but where are they, f you know... I thought you went to the beach to get the sun and tan and all that stuff, but you're just hiding under an umbrella. You can just do that at home. Turn yeah, on a I mean, hose. Um, where, Don't have to deal with the sand. Where does all this come from? Just saying. It's just all these. Um, <sighs> sounds like I'm 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 um, disapproving, doesn't it? Could be some of that, okay? Could <laughs> could be some of that. Not saying it is, but could be, right? But on the other hand, somebody's having an awfully good time at the beach. Yes and yes. Yes and yes. So. Um, okay, gotta get the brush clean. Get my bright colors going here. Ooh, mandatory, mandatory mask in West Virginia starting at midnight. Hey, you know, West Virginia was even on the radar. Well, better late than never, West Virginia. <laughs> yes, good. You know, it's good to good to do things, yeah. Well, at least they're doing something. Yeah, huh? You can't see the ocean from your yard. If you have a big screen TV, I'm sure there's a channel that has it. You think? Use your imagination. Just going to put some more blue out because I'm out. Um. It actually came together quite nicely. I, I like the cliffs without the houses on it, too. Yeah, me too. It just, like I say, we bought them out. They had to go. They were ruining our view. They were. Start to put in just a few of our peeps.
and you use a ducky float in the water. It'd What's be that? teeny a ducky float. You know one of the little ducky floats? It'd be pretty small, hun. It'd be teeny tiny. Yeah, you wouldn't see it. Just reading the comments, boss. Okay, I guess that's fine. Just explaining why you probably wouldn't see it, right? No, I wouldn't see it. And, um... Ooh, put a shark fin in there. That's a good one. A little jaw action. You think so? Well, it'd be fun. You did a good job on those people. Well, we got stuff here. We got we got things here. We got um, we got coolers. We got stuff that people are, you know, brought along with them. Brought along with them. There's there's cones actually here. There's the, there's little cones. I don't know why we have a cone, but you know, well, apparently there's some warning cones here that we feel the need to put in. <laughs> I don't know. They're just um. And uh, just some different people that are here, I guess. But um, there, there's some people that are here that haven't uh, quite made it to the beach yet. They're they're on their way. Lots of tan people. This is not the activity of somebody who hasn't been to the beach lately. So true, so true. Oh, that gave it some depth right there. Look at that. You're so uh -huh. clever. Um... Anyway, there's some, I'm just trying to put in a few of them, and then we'll put in the we'll put in some more stuff. But uh, the cones are supposed to be the six foot uh, distance guidelines. Oh, oh, <laughs> you guys! I love it when you know things. Don't you love it when our group knows things? Absolutely. I mean, you guys know stuff. Wow, like um, you know, that's just profound. There's a cone. There's a cone. Nobody's really listening. <laughs> Here, let's put another cone. I think the cones are a sign of our times, don't you? Cones and masks. Just, uh, we're putting in a few cones, you guys, just because it's too funny not to have them in here, don't you think? Because I'm, I'm saying this is going all the way. There was a back of a beach chair here. You know, um, is that our nude person? Well, there's a person there. I don't know if it's a dude or not. Gave him a bikini. You know, probably less of a dude. So, um, yeah, it's coming along nicely. You think so? Thanks. 
I'm, I'm, I'm ha now I'm just sort of filling in the um, filling in the blanks here. Yeah. Because there's so much of this bright. I mean, there's some bright colors in here like this. And we've got um, we've got a beach party here, friends. For sure, right? And every once in a while you see a little person popping their little head up, right? <laughs> Just a little tiny person. Little tiny, there's just... Oh, you saw that little gray area, just asking, now that's me asking, that little gray area that you're still over there with? That's what, here? No. No, over where you were just painting. Yeah. Uh, we're just missing some tents. Okay. We're missing We're missing some, you know, we didn't trace them all in. We're missing some of these uh, marvelous tents, right? We got another big tent right here. Okay. It just seemed like you were avoiding that area for some reason. Yeah, we did. We got that, that next that yellow one. We got, we got this person here, but we got definitely some, you know, tents and... Uh, uh, yeah, we got all back here, we got stuff. Let's keep the beach, keep the party going, right? Ginger needs to paint a little Morton Salt Girl with the puppy pulling on her uh, bathing suit. That's not a Morton Salt Girl. That's considered child pornography now, friends. Yeah, and isn't that the copper tone kid? That copper tone kid, and that's considered child pornography. Yeah, can't do that anymore. Yep. Um, if we didn't still, yeah, absolutely can't, can never do anything like that again. Not that I ever did, but I mean, you can't. You just can't paint that stuff. Um, I'm thinking we need a yellow umbrella here. Went from blue to yellow, huh? Yeah, it just, uh, you know, it was originally blue, but... Um, it just needed to be... It needed to be yellow. Okay, because there's that purple one over there. We got some stuff. Okay, so we're... You're bouncing around. We're just bouncing around with color now. Now we need to put some people out in the water. You can't believe that. Do you have the picture? I can. Can I show the picture again for a while? Well, you have it right see. there. Yeah. Right to your right. Or left. Your right, my left. Oh. You put right. it right there. You guys, I want you to just see this for a minute. It's wall to wall people. Do you see all the people in the in the water? Uh, just, just take a, just take a look here, because I, I, I think you must think I'm making this up, but I promise you I'm not. Right? Came from the news. Just, this is, this was from yesterday. And so I just wanted to paint it. You know what I mean? And I thought, you know, I just, I wanted to paint it. And, you know, because I thought, you know, I didn't get to go to the beach. Somebody went to the beach, obviously. And I got to go, right? And, well, um, you didn't tell me you wanted to go to the beach. Well, I wasn't taking you to the beach. Well, no. Did you want to go to the beach? Not really. No. Well, no, but, <laughs> you know, what if I'd wanted to go, Don? That's so true. I mean, I might have wanted to go, and then what? It's 
So, um, okay, so we got that, and we wanted to put, that's right, we wanted to put some little peeps in, right? You're going to add some more peeps in? You need some You're going to add peeps. a bird or two in this puppy? I don't know. There should be some seagulls and stuff in here, shouldn't there? Raiding all the picnic food. That's what they do. Remember, you're not really seeing the people. Man, way over here. How teeny can you make those it's people? It's scary. Uh, really? Some of them have been staying too long inside and they've eaten more food than some of the others. <laughs> Sorry. All right, so we're starting to... I mean, I'm not putting all those thousands of people here. We're not putting them all in, but, um, oh, yeah, this one was some sort of a, this was another flag right here. This was interesting. This was another flag up here going this way. And, uh, you see right to the left of that? Is that a person standing there? Is that a person? It and he's just closer? Yeah, that's a person. Okay. some sort of little flag right there. And Lane would like to know, what can you use to mix in your paint to make it thick like icing on a cake? Uh, um, you use a gel, heavy gloss gel medium. Or extra heavy. You can go up to 50%. And it doesn't dull down the color. Mm -mm. Those people under the purple tent, are they there in shadow? Which ones? See where the yeah, checkered that, flag? Yeah, they were that dark yeah. in the picture. You know. They were staying out of the sun. They were smart. But nobody's that big. Right? Everybody's getting pretty small back over here. Okay, so we've got... Um, I think you've captured the moment. You think I've captured the moment pretty much? I just need to lighten up the sand a bit in a few places. And, you know, I mean, hey, we, could put, we your, could put in... You're tweaking now. Yeah, we're tweaking. We could put in a lot of... Um, the bit has a follow-up question. What's the difference between heavy gloss medium and modeling paste? Um, modeling paste is a very thick, like mud, and it doesn't... It's, it's like gray when it dries, and 
extra uh, gels are clear. So the modeling paste would affect the color um, of your paint? Well, no, but they, they're not transparent. Gels are trans, translucent. Okay. Right? Gels are translucent. Gels are definitely translucent. Like I said, you're just going to Just going to suggest some people in here, but not really. What I'm missing is the very bright red, orange. Yeah, the luminous, there's a luminous orange one in there. Yeah, the luminous orange. I'm really looking for a bright orange color. Let me get back to my paints here. Just um, my paints are kind of used. I'm about at the end of this, you guys. So I want to see what. That's the wrong color. I don't want that. I want a bright. Cause some bright orange. I think it's a bright red. Let's see what this does. Okay, and then that some. That looks bright. Some bright yellow. Let's do some yellow in that. There you go. Something. I just wanted something oranger. All right, so um, okay. Elaine would like to know: Can you mix the modeling paste and the gel together? Um, I don't know. I would write Golden and ask him. I think you probably could, but I don't know why you would. I think yeah. it's more a question of why. What are you trying to do? Yep. So, um, yeah. So, so, I mean, a lot of this is just. Um, you know, um, what's going to work out the, you know, best. Let me just put the pen down. I'm out, I got about 10 more minutes on this, John. I think I'm going to call it finished. If I do anything more, it'll, I'll do it tomorrow and then show you, um, on Thursday, I'll show you on Thursday. How's that? I think for the most part, I've got it, um, pretty much completed. But, uh, if I do anything else, I would just kind of amuse myself and maybe tweak it a little bit. I'll show it to you on Thursdays. But what I want is, um, I want the light, um, I want the light beach color. San Diego doesn't have that bright white sand like you see in other uh, places. It's not as white. Their, um, their sand is not that pure white. Like if you were to go to the Caribbean or something and see white, you wouldn't necessarily. I think I got some red up here by mistake. I don't know why I got it in there. I guess I should wipe it off, but maybe I can paint it out. Nope, can't paint it out. Well, let's see. We're going to have a Salvador paint kit we're giving away this evening. If you want to yeah, participate gonna win that, in that. Right? You want someone to be able to win that. So we've got um, so some so if we've got some entries now, right, John? We've got some good entries into our. Um, yes, we do. Yeah. Yes, and yes. I just read, reading a little poetry from Ruth that she wrote in on the entry form. Oh yeah, what she write? 
Thanks for all. Thanks for all that you two do. You really make us feel less blue. Ginger told us it didn't matter who. If you want to paint, she'd share what she knew. John and the mods do their part too. You guys are awesome. That is true. Oh, thank you very much. Ruth, you're a poet and you know it. All right. So one more person right here, I think. We have 305 souls, as they say in the airplane business. They say that in the airplane business? Yeah, and they say how many passengers are on board. Oh, they do? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you do in the old movies, anyways. I don't know if they do nowadays. No telling. Random.org. They do. They do. Indubitably. How many did I say there was? 304. Let's check if we had any more entries. Late entree, 306. So let's see who's going to drive home in the brand new Salvador paint kit tonight. Well, not really that quickly, but you get the idea. And we have a person from Arizona. Arizona? You're saying that like a... Arizona. Arizona, huh? Yep. Salvador, Salvador, Kit. Oopsie, that's close enough. Where's my... There it is. John, is that a house against a cliff that isn't painted? No, that's painted. That's the color it is. You need to see a close-up of it here. Take a look at it there. It's purple, blue, brown. It's a pretty looking house. It's actually a, um, a sewer processing plant. It's all gray. She gingerized it. that is, friends. That is a sewer processing plant. Winner of the Salvador paint kit. Somebody just spell Salvador right. Is Chloe Mills. Chloe, uh, you're the winner of the Salvador paint kit this evening. If you could use the contact us and send me your mailing address, I will pass that on to Miss Michelle. John, to the left of that. That's rocks and cliff. That's rocks and cliff. Nope. Yeah, this is the house she's talking about right here. Well, the thing is, somebody to the left of that, there's nothing left of it but the cliff. And oh, yeah, oh, here, this little house, yeah. Oh, there's a house over there? Yeah, there was a, I, I think it wasn't, um... I don't know, why would a house you, be you that know, far I down? I don't think it's a house. I think, I'm, I'm just going to take it out. I don't think it's a house. I don't know why my finger's so dirty, but we're taking it out. Well, it's a perfect color to go there. Yeah, let's just uh, paint over that. Yeah, that's, um... I'm not sure what happened with this. Um, I have to look at the picture on that one. I didn't, see, I didn't even notice that when we grabbed it. I was just amazed with all the people. Yeah, me too. I mean, I think all these people are, are just, it's, it's so screwy, it's just, it's not even funny, all these people over here. It's 2.22 a.m. in the U.K., uh, Miss Primrose is telling us. But you got to go to the beach in San Diego with us, right? Yeah, look at that. <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. Right? Did you get to go to the beach in San Diego and... And, and see and all the fools? And see all the fools, yeah, see see everybody and... Um, well, we could be totally right, wrong and they're going to be fine in a couple of weeks. Nothing's going to change. We don't know. You know hmm. what I mean? We don't know. And um, we're not here to judge. Mm -mm. So it sounds a little, it sounds like we're probably being pretty judgmental, I'm sure. It's but. not a sewer processing. It's going to be a sewer, a storm, storm water comes down through the streets and stuff. You're not going to have sewer on the beach like that, where people are. Well, they, that was uh, 
the they, they they have a they have a pipe that goes from there three four six miles out goes under there and goes all the way out for miles I don't want to hear about this and um they have already processed it it's considered I don't to, I, hey blah 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 <laughs> I don't think we need to discuss it anymore. This is not our field of expertise. Artists. I tell yeah. you, when you folks paint it, leave out or add in what you like. Yeah, if you want to, and like I say, we'll have the picture on our um, our webs, you know, for the... Or go know, watch the news. You know, we'll have the picture on the uh, Beginner Acrylic Academy. Hopefully, Charlie or John's son will have that up tomorrow. Is yeah. Yoshi still on? It's really early for her. What's she? Four twenty-three. Yeah. Yosh. Yeah, it's 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 early. Couldn't stay for, away, could you, on this one? Yeah, it's it's it's, it's early for her and four twenty-three. Late for us, and uh, like I say, we're just uh, still trying to get up the last of the beach colors here. How about giving away something from the Academy? I think we said we were going to do that too, didn't we, John? Sure. What would you like to give away, my queen? Did you talk to the Academy to report Miss Ellie? What'd she authorize? A couple of downloadables? Um, yeah, what do you want to do here about that? All right. Let's see. We got two downloadable, either one credit or two credit downloadable lessons available from our Ginger Cook on Demand website. And we'll give that to a couple people, see what we get. And the first winner is scrolling, 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 scrolling. Going back to the beginning of time. And I'll highlight that so I can find it. And write down downloadable so I remember. All these things I have to do. And winner of a credit. Downloadable lesson is Christy Beard. Oh, congratulations. So it's Christy, a one credit. Now, how does the, explain how the credits work, John. The, the videos on the website, gingercookondemand.com, have a credit rating. One credit, two credit, three, four, and five. And you can select from the one and two credit category. Okay, that's interesting. So that's, uh, Chrissy, if you're still out there, write me, and I'll give you further instructions on how to do that. If you don't write me, I'll try to remember to send you an email, even though you're not here to listen to me. Oh, she left? I have no idea. How would I know? I give up. How do it's you 2 o'clock for some people. Well, where's Christy at? Didn't notice that offhand. We'll yeah, this is a, probably a good thing, John, because I think I'm coming down. I think John's getting hungry and coming down to the end of it. I, I may tweak this up a little bit and show it to you. To show you on um, on Thursday. We'll be live again Thursday. But this would certainly give you enough information if you wanted to paint it to understand how the you might go about Alabama. painting it. Yes. Does Alabama have a valley? So I mean, I would think that this would give you enough information. Yeah. Oh, I think so. I think we've we learned a lot from just the different styles and techniques you use uh, over the whole painting. Absolutely, right? So I think we're good. Yeah. But it is fun. I mean, you can go back and, you know, add lights and darks and all those things and maybe a person here and there. But um, I feel like we, we, um, we, we got our... Um, like, for instance, like right in here where our guy is. We 
We got the next person is from Canada. I know it's so unusual. This is our Canadian beach, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh my. Okay, winner of our second downloadable. Winner of a one, two. Down. Boy, I cannot I tell you when you hurt your nail like that. I don't know how I did that. Is George Reese from Canada, you are the winner of a one or two credit downloadable lesson as well. If you're still out there, use the contact us on gingercooklive.gallery or one of the other many websites. If you put in Ginger Cook in YouTube, you'll find us. We seem to have got that pretty good. Okay, I think we're just going to call it here, you guys. She's not going to um, sign it yet. Because not she's not yet, finally I may, done. I'll, I'll probably go back and tweak a little bit. Let me again show you the picture. It was, did it fall? Oh, I guess it fell down. I don't have it anymore. I don't got it. I thought I'd put it back here, but it might have fallen. Oh, I'll my, show it to you. my queen. You totally destroyed my famous works. <laughs> All right, so just to give you an idea, and again, if you, this was a... This was our inspiration, which was this uh, crowded beach scene with all these people from 4th of July yesterday in San Diego, right? Yes and yes. And, um, which is kind of cool, right? So we, this, is, uh, this was the inspiration for this. And again, this painting will be in our um, auctions coming up in July. We'll, we'll make this available for sale. Um, somebody might have fun with it, and again, I might put in a few more people and tweak this a little more, but um, this is basically what I came up with in a few hours today, and thanks for hanging in there with us, and hope you guys um, enjoyed your uh, afternoon at the beach. Ha-ha! <laughs> See you Thursday. Bye, everyone. Thursday, 5.30 p.m. Central Time. We'll be back for another fine hour of entertainment. Bye.